Hey guys, it's James and Tim from Cigars Daily, and today What's up? we are reviewing the Rabbit Air. Oh. Let's check it out. So today we are reviewing the Rabbit Air, as I said, and I have been smoking cigars for a long time, and one of the biggest issues is that I can never smoke inside. It's just, it, it, you know, if you know anything about it, it just stinks after a cigar. Yeah. So I think this could be the ticket to smoking inside. And, uh, so I called Tim on the phone. I said, dude, we have to review this thing. It's awesome. And he goes, actually, I, you know, we had, we bought 12 units. So he has plenty of experience and he could tell me all about this thing today. So let's get into it. What? Dude, this looks like a TV or something. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> what? It will, yeah. You'll literally think it's a TV when you, uh, do you see that? So the Rabbit Air, when you first get it, it's gonna, I mean, it looks like a TV. Exactly what James just said. It looks like a TV. It does. Yeah. And we, wherever you put it in the room, your mind's gonna automatically think there's a TV in that part of the room because it just looks like one. But it's a cool device. You literally just lift and pull off the front panel here. Whoa. And it comes with filters inside. <laughs> there's literally a handful of filters in here that do just about everything. So there's a filter cradle right here, and the filter cradle comes out and it holds all the filters in here. In the back, there's a fan. This pulls oh. air in from your room and uh, just cycles it through. But these filters are what you're really all about. So uh, we'll go through the filters one by one. The first thing is there's just a wire that keeps big pieces this from going This is for through. like lint and cat fur. Oh, and before I go on, this is the most important thing. Yeah. Always pay attention to what order you took the filters out because they have to go back in in okay. that exact same order. Right, right, right. So there you go. You got filter so one. First one. Okay. Let's see first if we can one. do it right. Okay. Then the next one here is just uh, a nice little cotton filter. Okay, okay. There we go. Cotton filter picks up bigger particles in the air. I'll take and off the plastic. This one, this is the important one. This is a HEPA filter. This is why the thing says HEPA on the front. This HEPA filter literally is designed to remove like everything from the air. In fact, if you look and see the HEPA filter is a thick filter. It's like yeah. almost an inch thick. And uh, it's just, if, if you buy a smoke eater and you put a smoke eater in a cigar lounge, it'll have a HEPA filter in it. Right, it's right. a kind of filter they put right in a smoke. So, uh, so HEPA filters, if you know anything, I just did a quick research. This is like the gold standard for all air filters. This is like you know hospital grade air filtration. That's basically what this is. Yep. So it can do way more than just smoke. So. If you ever go look online, you find a hotel room that says it's hypoallergenic. Right. They use HEPA filters to accomplish right, that. Right, right. So. And then this one has a specialty filter. It's the last one in there. Oh no, this is not the last one. <laughs> we got a lot of filters. It's another cotton filter. So it's just a, another Uranus filter. Okay. So there you go. Black cotton filter. This is the one right here that is specialty with it. This is a charcoal filter right. that literally has got pieces of charcoal in it and that the smoke molecules just collect on this charcoal and it absolutely pulls the smoke out of the air. This is the special one. When you order from Rabbit Air, you'll order the one that speci specifically right. does uh, removing smoke and odor from the air. Right. So there's different right. ones you can choose, but this is one we have just for our cigar. Okay. As we put these back in, I want to just slow down and point something out to you. Yeah. These things have all got the word front written on one side, okay. right side up, and so it tells you exactly how they're supposed to go back into the cradle right here, so. The HEPA. HEPA filter. Hey doc, I've got the HEPA. <laughs> <laughs> you can track the HEPA. <laughs> God. Last thing you ever did. So I've, I've actually seen guys just hook a fan up to like a, like a furnace filter. This is not bad. This is like high <laughs> class. This is world, you know, this is like a world class. This is expensive technology. Yeah, yeah like this is like NASA right here. Yeah, yeah this is the NASA of air filters <laughs> for sure. All right, cool. so we'll put it back in there. And then the whole thing can sense when this is off. And so, let me go plug it in here. So let's turn on the rabbit air. Oh, the lights are going on here. It starts on silent. So we're gonna, silent. Yeah, bump it up, because we're gonna smoke cigars. We're gonna bump it up to turbo. This turbo blast. <laughs> this, thing, this thing filters smoke unbelievably well. And so, uh, we're gonna turn it all the way up to high. We got it going on high. It gets a little bit louder. I don't know if you can hear that, mm -hmm. but this will allow us to light up some cigars in this room and test it out. And then we'll bring in someone to see how yeah. it goes. It's kind of cool because it shoots out the top here. Yeah. So it's not directly in your face. Yeah, so the air all shoots out of the top and it'll actually pull all of the air in around 
the, the front piece that you put on, and it senses this front plate as well. If I took it off right now, it would oh, shut off. Okay, so there's tons of sensors in here. It's the whole thing is just like a self-contained unit. And yeah. this too, this is a blue, but then it turned red. You said when it. So when the air quality is good, it'll turn blue. But when the air quality is good, uh, it is bad, and when it's clean in the air, it'll turn red and let you know that the air quality needs to improve. Oh, so. let's test it out. We gotta test it out. We gotta yeah. make the air quality bad. We are gonna smoke a couple of cigars in here today that I'm really excited about, and it's my opportunity to tell you about these cigars. Uh, for a few months, and James has been an absolute ally for me and a friend in all this, I've been putting together a retail website called CigarsDaily.com. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, this is something that I have some experience in, and now I'm gonna be releasing my own website. And as the website releases, I'm gonna be coming out with a budget stick that I've been doing, working on for a little while that James is gonna smoke with me right now. I am the first one to try it with him here. So this is the Rico Barato. Rico Barato means rich, poor man. It means the rich and the, cheap. The rich and cheap. The rich and cheap. So, so Rico, I like Rico Barato. It yeah. sounds like the name of like a Spanish guy yeah. who's cool and hey, kind of got some swagger, but yeah. he's also, his last name literally means he's cheap. So That's when, cool. when we both started smoking cigars for the first time, we yeah. smoked cheap sticks. We're right. talking like $3 range right. cigars. So I wanted a really good cigar in the $3 range that had good flavor. Yeah. It has rich flavor, but it's cheap. So that's and, what Rico brought. And this isn't just any cigar. You know, Tim actually took time to select this cigar out of many, many, many different blends. So yeah. this is the one that you wanted people to know about. This is the one I wanted so. people to smoke and try. So I'll let you light it up for the first All time. Right, here I, I go. want to taint your thoughts by telling you what I think. Okay, here I go. Rico Barato. So the Rico Barato, I'm telling you what, for a sub $5 cigar, this is very nice, very mild. It's not bitter at all, and uh, this would go great with anything. This is a great morning stick. You know, if you don't finish it, no big deal. Yeah, it's a good yeah. it's a good beginner stick. So this yeah. is like super light. Right. In my mind, this has flavors that sort of like harken back to right. essential Cuban flavors. It's got earth, grass, right. hay, yep. and it's it's got a little bit of sweetness, which is not really present in a ton of Cubans. Yep. It's just a nice light anytime cigar. For sure, for sure. And you know what? The draw is great. I don't feel any hard or soft spots. And to, you know, to tell you the truth, that is that's quite a challenge in itself for this price. So yeah, for sure, it's not a 90 rated stick. No, nobody's gonna rate this a 90. But the truth is, it's worth the money that you're gonna spend on it. So these will be available on Cigars Daily. This is really good. Dude. I can't stop <laughs> smiling. But now we need to blow all the smoke from these into the rabbit okay. air and watch it filter it out. So let's do some of that. Here we go. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I just went. Straight inside. So what you want to see, I'll, I'll walk people through this. What you want to see is that the, they're literally this thing is pulling air from every edge around uh, the outer cover here. It filters it through all those filters and it blows it straight up out the back so that you can mount this thing on the wall. What you're going to see right now is that when I blow the smoke, it's going to suck the smoke in through the small hole. Holy cow. There you go. That's the ticket. To that is the ticket. Yeah, this could be your ticket to indoor smoking. If your girlfriend, your wife, your whoever, mom hates cigar smoke, this might be a way to get the job done. Uh, it's absolutely, it's a, it's a miracle machine. It really is. I had some friends who smoked cigarettes in their house. Three chain smokers in their house for 10 years. They got one of these, night and day difference. It really, really was. James is holding the camera behind you right now, and my wife just got here. This is Allison, my wife. She loves to be on camera. Yay! Can you I don't tell? mind it, I'm just awkward. <laughs> my wife is absolutely beautiful, wonderful for being here, but she walked in and saw us doing that uh, episode with the rabbit air, and her first question was, did you guys, did you smoke in here? Could you smell, did you notice okay. the smoke when you came in? So when I walked in, I did not notice it. So I was here for a couple minutes, and then I was like, smelled and saw the rabbit air and then I said, did you smoke in here? So can you smell smoke now? I, can, I can't really, no. No. So there you go. We just yeah. literally smoked two entire cigars in this room. This is not a room that's typically smoked in ever, ever. In fact, that's probably the first two cigars smoked in here, but she did not smell it and does not notice sure. it. Now that we have. With them and once uh, we got a hold of the rabbit air. <laughs> Three, two, one. 
It, it's saying! <laughs> Point out right off the bat, you can take this and just throw it away because you literally don't need it. So we are gonna turn it on in three, two, one. Did you get it? Oh! <laughs> can I breathe in it? Breathe in it. <laughs> Cleaned all your air. Stanky breath.